Hello lovely people, my name is Emma and today I'm doing yet another five star predictions for fiction. So uh, first of all, excuse the earmuffs, I've got a head cold, my ears are really aching, this is the only thing that helps them. You'll know that if you saw my previous video, which I am recording them both on the same day, and that was my five star predictions wrap up. So, as you can probably guess, I have done this video once before, it was last year. Basically you, make, you look at your shelf and you make predictions about books that you think are possibly going to be five star reads, uh, and then you read them and then you come back and tell people about them. So I'll link all the videos I've done linked to this kind of an idea in the past, but today I'm going to be talking about 10 books on my shelf that I'm pretty sure are going to be five star reads that I'm going to hopefully get through in the next calendar year. The first one we have, oh, also, um, just a weird side note, weird quirk, uh, eight out of the ten start with the word the. <laughs> weird right anyway <laughs> the first one is the dog stars by peter heller this is a post-apocalyptic fiction which is exactly why i think it's gonna be a five star read because basically i love me some good old-fashioned post-apocalyptic fiction give me half the population at minimum wiped out normally more uh, random pockets of like people trying to survive give me that close-knit community that do we turn on each other or not survivalists how do we get food how do we not super excited love it always um the last post-apocalyptic fiction i read was on the previous one five star predictions and it was indeed a five star so I'm fairly confident in this one. This one has something to do with an aeroplane that's what makes it like slightly different compared to all the other ones out there that's its little quirk um, but frankly I don't care what its gimmick is I care that it's post-apocalyptic fiction we're on board. Plain pun not intended. The next one is Deathless by Catherine N. Valente. So this apparently she's the Ray Bradbury of her generation that's not why I think it's gonna be five star um, but this is set in Russia and is something to do with Russian folklore and I don't know a crazy amount more about it than that but that's the main draw for it for why I think it's gonna be five star. The previous books that I've read about Russian folklore are the Bear and the Nightingale um, trilogy of which book three will be featuring on this list and I absolutely adore all the books in that series that I've read so far so I'm fairly confident that this one will also be a five star read. It has been linked to the Bear and the Nightingale um, so that's really where I'm getting my five star prediction from. Uh, I don't know a crazy amount about the story itself. Do with love and death and history and deep myth and dark magic and generally all those big word keyword buzzwords that I enjoy so I'm sure it's gonna be good. Uh, so another five star read hopefully is gonna be Eagle and Crane by Susan Rindle. This is a historical fiction set in the 1940s in California um, and it kind of covers the Second World War but from the American side of things um, it's a pilot who is involved in like an air show pre the war breaking out and then it's about um, his experience of the war afterwards. It's also got a love story in it in the end um, as well and just generally it looks like it's gonna be really interesting and cool. I really enjoy war fiction. Um, I know I might be now a bit of a minority, a lot of people out there are quite sick of it, but I really still enjoy World War II fiction. I love historical fiction um, and I think that this whole thing will be really interesting and I'm hoping that there's going to be a lot of like accurate detail about um, the pilots and like the planes and how that all works because I do love any book that gives you a bit of like real life background non-fiction information on whatever topic they're talking about and I'm really hoping this will do that. We now have The City of Dreaming Books by Walter Mowers. This is on here because Walter Mowers is one of my favourite authors of all time, so I'm hoping, therefore, that means that I'll really enjoy this book. This is book three of his Zimonia World series, which is like a absurdist fantasy world. Um, they're kind of companion books. They, they are set in the same universe, but they rarely contain the same characters. I'm really, really excited about this, and yeah, I've, I've absolutely adored all the other books of his, so why not this one? Okay, I now have The Psychology of Time Travel by Kate Mascarenas. Uh, this was recommended by Harriet Rosie, and it's basically um, time travel but specifically with women as the focus and that's a big draw for me for it. I really enjoy time travel fiction in general, it's a trope I personally really love but I've read very little of it that contains women, it's very much a boys club so I'm hoping this one will be quite interesting. There's definitely some kind of like weird looping paradoxical thing in it as well and I think that's going to be really really fun. Also we've got to love a lady scientist. Right I mentioned Catherine uh, Arden earlier and the um, Winter Night Trilogy. This is book three, I've loved book one and two and I'm actually mainly putting this book on this uh, video list so I bloody read it because I bought it a year ago and I still haven't got around to it and it's one of those ones that I'm so confident I'm going to enjoy it I'm not prioritizing it on my shelf and that's a mistake so we're going to read it this time. Okay on a similar note I also have Lady Trent book four which I'll put a photo of here again I really like the Lady Trent series by Murray Brennan it's like a uh, Victorian um, alternative universe dragons lady scientists kind of a nat nature documentary vibe to it really really love it and I've enjoyed all of them so I'm fairly confident book four is going to be on tour winner as well. 
Um, I also have The Silent Companions by Laura Purcell. Uh, this one I read her book The Corset and absolutely loved it. They're very like historical thriller which is a weird subgenre that I totally love and didn't realise I enjoyed so much. So I'm hoping given how much I enjoyed The Corset that her other book will be on to a winner. Similar to a continuation of a series, I also have The Turn of Midnight by Minette Walters. This is book two of a duology about the Black Death. Uh, I loved book one, so logically, should love book two, hopefully. Um, and then the final one I have is The Starless Sea, which is uh, the hotly anticipated book by Erin Morgenstern, the author of The Night Circus. I, like freaking everyone on the internet, love The Night Circus, so I'm hoping um, that I'm going to enjoy this one. It's supposed to be a book about books. It's being very, well, very, very well received. I'm pretty convinced I'm going to love it, but I'm avoiding it until the hype dies down. My camera battery is dying, so hopefully it caught all of that. Uh, let me know what you think. Have you read any of these? Where should I start? And that's pretty much it from me. Have a wonderful reading week and I'll chat to you soon. Bye!